the oldest rocks on Earth are almost as old as Earth itself. But how do we tell the age of a rock? Well, it turns out that certain components of rocks act kind of like clocks, ticking away from the beginning of the formation of that rock and giving us astoundingly accurate estimates for when that rock first formed, even billions of years ago. The building blocks of the universe are the elements of the periodic table. Rocks, along with everything else, are made up of a mix of these elements. Some of them are extremely stable. A chunk of lead will still be a chunk of lead after 100 billion years. But some elements spontaneously change into others in a process known as radioactive decay. This can happen very quickly, in a fraction of a second, or it can happen over the course of millions of years or longer. Each unstable element has its own very predictable timetable for decaying. We can use this timetable to find the age of a bone, or fossil, or a rock. Let's use these marbles as an example. Let's say each red marble is unstable and changes or decays into a blue marble. This process is random, so looking at just one marble won't tell us much. But we know that if we pour a bunch of red marbles into a jar, half will turn blue over a period of time. This amount of time is called a half-life. If we have a jar of marbles that is a mix of red and blue, we can look at how many there are of each in order to find out how long ago they were poured into the jar. After 10 minutes, half would be blue. After another 10 minutes, half of the remaining red marbles would turn blue as well making 75%. After another 10 minutes, half of the remaining red marbles turn blue. That's 88%. Since that ratio matches what we see in our jar, now we know how long ago the marbles were poured. In rocks, half-lives of elements can be hundreds, thousands, millions, or even billions of years. We can date the oldest rocks in the world by comparing their levels of rubidium, a radioactive element, to what it decays into, which is strontium, a stable element. Knowing that half of the original rubidium will take 50 billion years to decay, we can get a precise date for when the rock first formed. This method uses different elements for different timescales. Carbon dating gives us dates for things like organic material, decaying over thousands of years. Uranium dating gives us dates for things like the formation of our solar system, billions of years ago. Take a look at some of the rocks in your neighborhood. They might have formed before there was even life on Earth, but we can use science to find out when with amazing precision.